first episode. I'm not sold on this anime yet. It seems like a pretty generic story of a being that got reincarnated and is now living a humble life. It's a Lamia girl, right? There's some interspecies kind of like funky stuff going on that could play into fan service. But I hear today's episode, a lot of people are talking about it saying like, bro, like the amount of like <laughs> innuendos in the fan service went crazy. So maybe we should give it three episodes before we call it a deal. Let's begin today's reaction. Mate. Lamia. Selena, right? Wait till you see what's below, you know? That's sad. All of your wood, wood, wood. Oh my god. But if you actually saw Lamia in person, I think this is the natural response, right? You're like, what the fuck? It's a snake girl? I'm running, bro. Feel bad for her. Wah, wah. Even the crow is literally going wah, wah for Selena, man. That's messed up. A new friend. Okay, we're gonna make some friends today. All right, nothing bad happened at all. Wow. Don't mess up. I thought Doran would be talented at everything. And this girl's down bad for Doran, right? Yeah. <laughs> Glaze. We went from objective compliments to flattery. And you're handsome. And I want you as my husband. Will you take me? <laughs> yeah, the handsome part especially. All right, Aidy is very talented with medicinal herbs. Does Aidy have a bigger sister? She's a bit too young for us. That's why he's not good at this. Is that an idiom? Okay. Antidote for Selena. Because, like, remember, if we want to, like, be her <laughs> husband, we need to be able to, like, overpower her poison, right? Or you could have an antidote that just, like, purifies the poison or something. Oh, Idy's family. <laughs> the god that they're worshipping to literally was a friend of the dragon a long time ago, okay. <sighs> oh, that Ara. Hey, hey! Fresh milk, huh? Whose milk is it? Is it your milk? You're a cowgirl. Who, who, whose milk are we drinking? From where? Mew. There's her milk. What do you mean her milk? Is it her milk because it's her milk? Or is it her milk because she was milking a cow and has a supply of milk? What, what, are, you, what are you saying right now? It's a daughter too. I this is the innuendo. This is the fan service moment people were talking about. Oh. Well, it's looking like it's her milk, right? In front of her? Thank you for your milk. Hi. Oh, it's that girl again. The cool silent night. Dramatic wind. That's probably gonna be the highlight of today's episode, right? <laughs> Freshly milked demi cowgirl. Yeah. 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 Hey. 
Cute kids. Look at my lethal weapon. Wow. What's in the shrubs? Lamia girl. Who's in there? Lamia. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> butt crack. It's a long ass butt crack, bro. What's up? Nanto, Yahari Serinata. Bro, she taking a bath. <laughs> no, her hot water is gone, man. What's she gonna wash herself with? Us. <laughs> he ran to save her like that? <laughs> That's a very cliche, like, saving the girl from a cat, but like, she got like, shocked because we showed up while she's taking like a, a bath in the public. <laughs> Chill. He's not a perv. He's just looking respectfully. Oh. Oh. Doran Giga Chat. Wow. He's so straightforward. Even that was too bad, though. The husband is you, bro. Come on, Doran is gonna be the husband. Poor girl, man. And then they run away, causing monster. Yeah, I'll do everything I can to help except be your husband. <laughs> this dense motherfucker. Like, it's you. You are going to be the husband. But you don't even recognize that. You're like, sure, I'll help you find a husband. What? What's the good idea? Did he figure it out? There it is! Wait, hold up? He's smart? Yeah, there's demi-humans in their village too. It's fine. It's not just humans in her village. Mm -hmm. Milk. It's fine. You'll be the first. Oh, you're going to be the first. Bro, what do you think you're doing? You literally are talking with this girl that says she's looking for a husband. You give her your, like, seed to her through, like, a mana force last episode. Today, when she's back and you look at her naked and says, beautiful, she said, I'm still looking for a husband. You offer her a place to stay at your place, and now you're realizing it sounds like I'm courting her? I guess that's because he's a dragon, right? He's a dragon. He's not a human. He hasn't watched countless rom-coms animes like us. Of course he's gonna be dense. It's an ancient dragon trying to figure out how to do human things. Jesus Christ. Alright. You're signed. Life energy again. Mm. Life energy. Why are you going to his crotch? I want your life energy again. Cameraman, zoom in on Dolan's dick. I wonder what the life energy is alluding to, guys. Brother, <laughs> this show is so down bad indirectly. They know what they're doing. They know 100% what they're doing. Oh, life energy. Oh, gushed again. It's delicious? What are you giving her, bro? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, bald. Mm. Fish and boar. Oh, no. They're gonna think that Selena is bad. We're getting frames. I don't think it was us, was it? Uh-oh. Oh, that was the plan. It's an act of good deed. 
she did this. Doran planned it. If we give them offerings, food, then the villagers should be happy. But they're thinking as, why did they leave its prey here? What do you think the food's doing here? The fish in the board. Don't you think it's food for you? Why do you take this as a threat? Bald. They already ate it! They already ate the food! Even the Kudere Silent Girl ate the food and saying it's marvelous! Also, the soundtrack right now is really good. Even last episode, right? The soundtrack of this show was actually really great. There's no butt? I, I thought she would like, but we still need to kill her. She's just, yes, it truly was marvelous. She's kind of funny. She's super serious all the time, right? <laughs> but like, yes, it was marvelous, okay. <clears throat> yeah, what's up? Why? Why, Baldi? Huh. This Lamia brought us food and we ate and it was great. Anyways, we must put together a squad to eliminate at once. Holy shit, they're stupid. Bruh. I think the reason is because of this lore, right? This, this like, misunderstanding. Maybe it's true that a Lamia is extremely dangerous even by itself, right? It's just this, like, assumption that people have had. It's the culture around here. Even if the food is delivered, they're still on guard. Neither did I. Giga Granny, let's go. But. Thank you, someone is using her brain. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for being the voice of reason. Like, what do you think the offering is? It's food free. They want to be friendly. Holy shit. Oh. What's up, buddy? Hi. Fortune telling. And the future will show Doran and I, uh, Doran and uh, 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 Selena together mating. What is it? This is fortune telling. The fuck are we looking at? Candlewicks? Okay, this is also stupid, right? <laughs> this is fortune. <laughs> hmm, yes. This random plot with like candle wicks coming out of it. Ah, I see the future. I see it. I see it. <laughs> okay, sure. That's good fortune, guys. Are they lying? Are they capping? Is this real? Who knows? Doran just went like this. Looks like Doran got like a sign there, huh? It's like he knew immediately. It's like, oh, okay. Phase one is good. Can you hear this? Can he hear this? His hearing must be insane, right? Maybe? What's the final plan? What the hell did she do? Bring the food there, I guess? Yeah. Okay, what's the what's the final plan? You're gonna skip it? Alright, show me it then. Yeah, sure. You can put fucking self-insert your own Hindu religion and mythology by saying worshiping the snake and bringing good fortune, right, is good. I can also do this. In the Bible, in the Garden of Eden, what brought the forbidden fruit? What tempted it? A snake did, right? See how I can just do mental gymnastics and insert my own bullshit fucking headcanon to make it seem like I understand the story? <laughs> we can all play this game, man! Baran's oh shit! Is this supposed to be a cow kid? Cause like, now I'm trying to think, this is Baran's dad. Who's the mom? Are these cow horns? I'm not sure. Did Baran fuck the cowgirl that's giving fresh milk every day? That's what I want to know right now! <laughs> or is it a bull? I don't know, the horns, right? The horns! <laughs> Bruh, 
ベルムラの最大勢隊長のバランスバマリダその副長のバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバランスバラドラン will be in danger and Selena saves? Okay! That's a good plan we can do. Who's gonna put Dolan in danger though? Okay. Got it. He's gonna go hunt monsters. He'll fake it. Selena saves. Uh oh. Is there another Lamia? There's two? Maybe just a snake? Elemental? Bear. Easier. There it is. We don't even need to go to the fucking bunny den or whatever. Lam Selena just gotta defeat this thing on behalf of everyone else. And boom, she'll be welcomed in. This bear has like shoulder pads, bro. Look at the shoulder arm on the bear. Armored bear, literally. It's got knee pads too. One hit, one shot? Oh, you fucking idiot. Doran's kid, no. Sorry. Baran's kid. Bro's name is Tauro? Bull. Tauro, right? Because he fucked the bull girl, right? Selena. Selena, right now. Or Doran. Selena. Oh no, she took damage. Selena. No. Damn. I mean, this sucks. But we showed our good side, and she didn't die from one shot, which is pretty impressive because they said the armor bear it kill you in one hit. Selena's very durable. <laughs> Lamia Haki. She got the conqueror. She got the conqueror in her. She just literally intimidated the armor bear to just get the fuck back into the forest. <laughs> Okay. Wow. The cursed eye technique. Lamia, what about you? You're back. Oh no. This guy is a fucking retard. I cannot believe this. How many times do we need to show you, old man? How are you at this point? How are you possibly demonizing? Selena right now. That's crazy. We should let Taro die, bro. This is crazy. He's so stupid. No. Yeah, she did. That's that's it. No matter what she does, it's just oh yeah. But Lamis are dangerous, therefore bad. You cannot convince them otherwise. He'll always just default to Lamia bad, so I'll kill her. Holy man. Based. Bro, the soundtrack is... Okay. I don't mean to disrespect your favorite show, okay? But let's get real. What's happening on screen is not supposed to be some super fucking insane scene. I'm very immersed right now. But it's not supposed to be some a peak like cinema. But the soundtrack happening right now is insane. The soundtrack playing over the scene is making the scene so much fucking better. Dude, the composer is cooking. Yeah. Are you the one feeding our village? What? It washed me? It washed me? Is her misspeaking gonna be all cute now? Is Baran gonna be like, oh, that's very cute and funny. I'm gonna accept you now. <laughs> I, I think it worked for a bit. I think Baran was like, damn, that was kind of cute. What the fuck? Maybe she ain't so bad. Because I'm a good person. Jesus, that angle. But I can't find no man. Oh. 
I feel so bad for her. Dude, the blood on her back is still pouring after she protected Taro. Look at the injury. But on you monster. But on you monster. How could you do this to her? Yeah, she is cute. I mean, Maguru's fortune telling, I think, was fucking cap. I think that was literally all part of the plan. I don't know. Maybe it was real, but I feel like it was all coordinated. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Here's the schizo. Here's the schizo church girl. The messenger of God. Oh, the God has told me. Oh, what is it? What kind of delusions are you seeing right now? Better be good news. Church girl, come on. I don't believe this shit. Bro, fuck this girl. <laughs> you bullshitting. Some, someone just reflecting light onto her right now. What, what, she, she's acting like she's actually listening to God right now. Look at this. Look at the light spot, uh, like spotlight on her. Peak acting. Cap. What is it? Tell me what God told you. Okay. And? And? Divine judgment? Good. Good. Nice. Thank you, church girl. I was really worried that the church girl might say something like, this is the harbinger of evil. The goddess has told us to slay the Lamia. Oh, thank God it's not going that direction. Didn't even realize that. <laughs> Blood loss. Now, I wonder how much that goddess was helping us out because Doran was here. Because Doran is a dragon and that goddess Myral was friends back in the day. And the goddess seems to exist in the heavens right now talking to the church girl. So like, was that the goddess like helping us out? Who knows? We're not gonna live together? We're not gonna live together? At least they gave her a house. That's kind of crazy. That, that's actually kind of crazy. She just shows up. Please let me stay here. All right, here's a house for you and land. That, that's, got, that's actually kind of crazy. Is it cozy? Little mushroom plushies? <laughs> it ain't bad. Nice place to stay in. Happy ending. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I can't hate on Baran as much because he got the fucking mushroom plushies. Alright, Baran has redeemed himself with the plushies. <laughs> Alright, Baran has been corrected. Yeah, who's the mom though? I still need to see who the mom is. Is the mom the cowgirl? I don't know. It, I, I want to believe it's the cowgirl, even if this guy's supposed to be Taro and supposed to be like a Taurus bull something. You don't know anything about Lamia? Here's one quick tip, ID. This girl is gonna steal your mans. I know you're down bad for Doran, but like, it's over for you. Also, I just realized that the silver haired girl literally did not interact again. I thought the silver haired girl would like show up and do something, but all she's done is just like act really cool <laughs> and said, mm, yes, it was delicious. <laughs> That's it. Every time we see the silver haired girl, like, there's dramatic wind happening and she just looks so cool and distant, but, like, she doesn't do anything and she had one funny line. Maybe she's supposed to be super dorky, man. Maybe she's just, like, a meme gag character. Selena! Just Selena! Happy ending! Aww. And that is today's episode. Today's episode? I'm more sold on this show. First episode was pretty decent, but it's just like, what's really happening? Okay, we meet the Lamia and then we go off on our own way. Okay. There wasn't enough of a hook there, but now with this episode, obviously the cowgirl, you know, this is just stupid fan service. That's just funny. But then beyond that, it's like Lamia trying to be accepted into the village and her trying so hard and, you know, sacrificing herself and cool action scenes and then people accepting her. This was a great episode. I genuinely did enjoy this and I hope that the future episodes are just going to be good. And I hope that people can recognize, like, this is a pretty decent show. It's a pretty decent show that might get overlooked. And the soundtrack. The soundtrack is 
godlike for this anime. I don't want to say it's a mismatch of the actual anime and the soundtrack in terms of quality, but you cannot deny that the soundtrack is fucking god tier. And relative to the scene that's ha is witnessing in front of us, I feel like the composer is just fucking cooking on a different level, which is amazing. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.